Peace and blessings, Gemini. Hi, guys. Welcome and welcome back to another See Your Soul 3 Revolution with me, Leaf. This is going to be a general message for the sun and star sign of Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, wherever you may have Gemini prominent in your chart. All right. I was checking on the incense because one thing I've noticed and don't understand it, sometimes if like the incense is too close to the... Uh, video, the camera, um, it gets distorted. Um, but some for me and some for you, my gems. It is all natural nag shampa. So it's basically pressed flowers and wood. If you count the stick, that's all. All natural. All right, let's get to it. Spirit, let's Dive in. Yep, it's on. I didn't know if the microphone, I wanted to make sure the microphone was still on. Let's dive in for Gemini Spirit to see what Gemini has got going on. Gems, we're going to take a look at um, using um, a Celtic pagan deck that has more, it's a pagan deck, but it has more of a Celtic root to it. Um, I'm not Irish myself, but I do like... Um, a variety of different um, cultures, um, backgrounds, ethnicities, um, because I thought I like the spirituality and everything. So, you know, we got that this today. And we also have the Mayan deck. It's an oracle deck, which we will be using too. Um, that's going to be more of a psychic intuitive, just because I don't want to read from the book. And I, I'll get the hits that I need to. Some of you might be a life path 12, a life path 1, a life path 2, a life path 3. Some of you may have been born um, on the 12th day or the 12th, the 12th is significant to you. Clarify, Chuan. For, oh, right. Clarify, Chuan, for Gemini. Okay. So I guess the reading is starting. So while I was shuffling and talking to and explaining um bottom of the deck is we have complex stability which is number 12 in the um mayan math right but we also had shuan right and um to be quite frank i don't know um the all of the technicals in this deck the book is very detailed intricate and deep so there's a lot more than just the book itself i have to anywho um so i had asked for some confirmation or some clarification and what came out was power and new beginnings which then pinged me to this guy one of the gods and it's, it is about power and new beginnings. Also good to note, some of you might, aquamarine and or turquoise might be of significant to you. Uh, significance to you doesn't have to be right. But it also is a, 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 um, a color, if we look at the color of protection, of power, of the third eye. For um, In that way, um, because a lot of different cultures use turquoise as protection, as power, and um, for foresight and such, right? Now, there, um, but it, there, you have a lot of power and new beginnings going, like what's around you. And the reason for that is what the read's going to be about is you, Gem, and your purity. Because your purity, but also your transition. We're going to clarify a little bit further. Clarify power for gems, spirit. Okay. New beginnings. Mm-hmm. Transition. Purity. Wow. Bottom of the... Now your ancestors are here. Ancestors. And then look at the bottom of this deck. You have the king of aphames, the king of logic, the king of truth, backs over feelings. Something about um, your ancestors. Um, now this could have passed off loved ones, to, passed on loved ones that you did know, 
but also ones that you don't, your ancestor ancestors. Something about some kind of truth and logic, logic is coming out in that way. But what I find really awesome is um, the clarifications on these. So what clarifies purity is you. You have moved away to mental peace, uh, Gemini. You were divinely led away. Some of you may have physically moved away as well. You put distance between yourself and nouns, person, places, things that meant you no good, meant you harm, right? To protect your own purity, you moved away to peace, mental peace, right? And then we have power. Clarifying the power card, though, was the Page of Pentacles. So clarifying the power card, that was clarifying Shuen, right? Page, so you are starting something small, Starting over, okay, that's, you are showing your power by starting over in something in infant stages, period. But that's the power. Look, it's like this card too, when, when uh, on the technical, like what the book says for this particular deck, even though it's a writer weight style, um, each deck has its own story as far as the plot right like anyway uh anywho this is about starting something or finding the magic and the power within you because you are starting something in infant stages but it's finding the power page of pentacles in this deck is finding the magic within yourself finding the magic external to yourself by tapping into yourself period right which i find really cool because Shuen, it's harnessing on the power, harnessing the power, then the new beginnings that this calls for, that, you, you know, right? But also the color of it, too, for the protection. But then it shows, it's like the transformation of something, um, like the transition of something, too, which also brings me back to the ancestors. So if some, some of you may have just had someone that passed away, and if so, I am so sorry, and my condolences. Um, I read it how I see it, so if I bring something up, it's because I'm channeling something that happened to someone. Um, right. What I love also is, it, so you had the power with the Page of Pentacles. So clarifying Shuan, one of the gods, is power new beginnings, which is what this is. It's almost like the death card, death and rebirth, right? Like it's like that. Knowing your own power to start something else, right? Like I'm myself still, but you're starting over as yourself. Let me reintroduce myself type way, Gemini, right? And you are. It's the magic within and then the magic external to you. Let me show you what I'm about. Let me show you what I can do. But I'm only showing you what I can do because you're actually just here while I'm showing myself. It's like that. You're not showing off to others. You are figuring something out, out within yourself. You're showing yourself something and others just happen to be around. It's like that. They're witnessing. Yeah. And the power, right? Because of the new beginnings, new beginnings here. Then you have the horned god and the six of chalices. Like this is awesome. You have Aries here and Scorpio here as well. Um, what this is saying is the new beginnings as you come out powerful, like a boss, whether male or female. This would be the um, emperor in the traditional rider weight, right? The horned god. But this is in um, Celtic, and there's also Norse roots on this one, too. But I believe this is a lot more Celtic. But anyway, I've seen different things in the deck. Anywho, um, you're starting over the new beginning as yourself, the boss that you are. But even though you're like a boss and you're very, like, um, disciplined, um, reliable, uh, powerful, good in business, you know, um, the type of parent that people would want, kids would want, right? Because like you're loving, caring, kind, compassionate, but you hold accountable, you're um, firm but fair. You're just all in all a um, balance of your um, masculine self, whether you're male or female, right? It's a balance of that. This is good masculine entity. This is a true masculine, not um, wounded masculine, aka toxic masculinity. This is I know who I am, and um, you're being the boss that you are, 
but you still have the childlike nature in you with the six of cups. You, um, it's like the power to show yourself off by being yourself because you're starting over because of some, it's like some kind of change or something that happened that it forced this to come out of you, but it was always in you. It's just a piece of you that's coming out now because whatever happened in the past, you're not allowing to take place or happen again. So in order for that to not happen, right, for the past to repeat, for that to not happen, you had to step out of the, uh, some kind of comfort zone in any way, shape, form, or fashion, however this fits, business, finance, career, love, family, friends, social, platonic, romantic, however, right? You had to pop out because it's like, um, maybe you were too loving and kind before. Maybe people took advantage of you. Maybe you overextended, you know, like all of these different things. So it's like you changed yourself um, by digging into yourself more so that you could expose who you really were. But you still have that childlike nature. And a lot of people here are seeing, just so you know, a lot of people are seeing um, the duality that's so beautiful in you. Yes, you are a boss person. Yes, you are very stand up and you have high integrity and values and morals and you get shit done, right? But you also have a healed inner child as well. And a lot of people find a kinship to you. They find you to be soul matey. And how do I mean that? I mean that from a, um, like a, like a, kid like a platonic kid friendship way like like a homie type vibe but still a boss don't fuck with me right but still approachable yes i'm all these things but you can approach me it's like that but it's also showing how the the new beginnings of the adult self of the horned god but it's also the inner child and it's also saying the healed version of the inner child the healed divine feminine child and the healed divine masculine child that resides within you, Gemini, and you are the house of the, the balance of mind and heart. Well, you're also the house of communication too, but Gemini, you specifically have the balance of your mind and your heart, which is the divine masculine, the divine feminine, right? You've healed a lot of things from your past and you ended up popping out the same way that you are on the inside. You just had to show it on the outside. So people are seeing how strong, beautiful, and stand up that you are, but you're still approachable and loving and caring and kind. There's also something here about canaries. Um, now, back in the day, they used to use canaries in coal mines. They, they would bring the canaries in, if I'm not mistaken, to um, like what the canaries would sing or chirp, it would show that um, it was like, it would indicate that the mind would close or something or, or, or like it was a way for them to understand how to um, like not get caved in or something like that. But it's relying on, but you know, you're relying on your own intuition. It's something like that. I hope that makes sense. But it's the new beginnings as yourself, just in a way that people haven't seen you be externally in full force. Maybe people did see bits and pieces of the horned god, the emperor, right, of Gemini. Maybe people did see bits and pieces of the inner child, the healed, the divine, feminine, divine masculine, but not all together. And together it creates a new beginning because you chose to be powerful and have power by believing in yourself, but also whatever knocked you down in the past, you were down but not out. You got back up, right? This is where it gets even like more um, wild. Transition. Look what that is. New beginnings. The green man. So it's like um, it's clarifying itself. You transitioned into something that you started over in. The fool card. This would be the fool card, right? But you, it's a transition into yourself, into some another way of you know. It's the same way of being, but more elevated, more enlightened, more I understand, more um, this is how I have to be because when I was all of these other ways, I got nothing but grief, abuse, neglect. People took advantage of me. People, uh, you know, like it's like that in all these different ways. So you're like, well, I don't really want to change who I am because I'm all of these awesome things. But I got to change something because I keep getting lied to. I keep getting cheated on. I keep getting um, loser snakes coming up 
you know, uh, around me. I keep getting betrayed, right? It's like something like that. So you learn, well, wait a minute, boundaries. It's something like that, guys, right? And remember, guys, I couldn't get there if I haven't been there myself. So there's no um, hate. There's no shade. There's no blame. There's no nothing other than I'm reading what I see, right? Uh, I know that you know that by now, Gemini's, but for the new ones that are watching, this is an honest channel. I read what I see. I read what I feel. I read what I know, right? I see it. With these two eyes in this eyes, I feel it. And then I speak on it. I hear it sometimes too. The transition into starting over, you transitioned and you did start over. You jumped off the cliff. It's like, um, jumped off the cliff into the lake and then you arose from the water anew. It's something like that. Like it's, this is just beautiful energy and spirit is like making it known that it's like, it doesn't have to be in one specific area of your life. It can be more in one way. Sure. But it's an overall, um, all around transition transformation because you chose to do the inner work and take a look at, um, complex, Stability. You chose to take a look at things that were complex. Your stability may have been complex, right? You had to fix something. You're happy about it now, though. Things feel even. I'm getting like a very even one, 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 right? Like a very even, which Gemini likes even um, from how I'm feeling it. It's like you're saying by even, it's like I'm balanced. It's like that. Something like that. What else do we got for gems? What about Scorpio had the King of Wands that came out as well. You might be dealing with a Scorpio or you might have Scorpio in your chart. You don't have to, though. It could just be saying that, um, you know, when, when, when we uh, ride the same frequency of the same vibe when we, that with others, um, it's a lot of similarities will happen, you know, but I think what it is also saying is that a lot of the signs are going through some changes. Um, you've already been through the changes. It's like you're now just, um, it's the external manifestation that's being seen of the changes that you've done privately, right? It's a whole new you, which is still you. It's just more of who you are in the inside is coming on the outside because you've learned a lot. What else we got? Why the King of Wands? Wow, Scorpio had both of these cards too. Huh. Okay. What is this? Show me what, what's that? And the truth. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, right? Um, you Or you could have this in your chart. But what it's saying is, clarify, what's that message? What's the message? Okay, this is a side note, but for some of you, we have the world in reverse. So for some of you, a Sagittarius and or Scorpio, right? Doesn't have to be, but it's someone with very, a lot of passion for you. Somebody, um, it's like, it's also Aquarius here too. I don't know why I said Scorpio. Why did I say Scorpio? Some of you may be a Scorpio moon is what I'm hearing. Um, it's Aquarius and um, Sagittarius and Aquarius here. Then there's somebody that's coming in that, ha um, that wa has a lack of closure. They don't want something to end. They feel like they didn't achieve something. They feel it's incomplete. There's some kind of emptiness, right? Or this could be saying you felt that way. You didn't. No, it's not them, it's someone else. But for some of you, it is you too. So it can go both ways. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, keep going. What do you mean? So for some of you, there's someone that doesn't want to end, that doesn't want something to end that you already ended, right? They want you to change your mind. They also may be an earth sign. They don't have to be, but they could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. They also could be a Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. Keep going. This person, these people, whether, now this could be love, family, friends, business, finance, career, um, platonic, however this fits, right? But this person, they have a lot of um, 
inner conflict. They like to have external conflict because they like to feel important. So they like to uh, create competition arguments. They have a lot of aggression. Um, their tension, they have a lot of tension built up. They're like, look at people as rivals and um, they try to like fight with people so that they're e like, that will also clash with ego, right? They may be a fire sign, um, the answer is no. It's one of my no cards. The answer is no. If, if you asked a yes or no question, or if this resonates and you were thinking, oh, maybe I was thinking about giving this person a chance again, the answer is n no. And the answer here was a yes, but it's in reverse, which means it's a no. Hold that yes, because it's a no. Um, because you've changed, Gemini, that doesn't give anyone the right to come back into your life. Do you know why you changed? because you had to pull yourself away from something and you had to heal from pain, from betrayal, from abuse, neglect. That doesn't mean that when you rise up and come back anew, that these same types of, that this type of energy can come back into your life. Like people like this, I just talked to Scorpio about this too. People like this, what they do is they come as they, they, destroy they try to destroy you tear you apart do all these horrible things to you right and then they take off and then you're stuck healing from all the bullshit which you do and then you grow then they think this is the type of energy we're dealing with they think oh well so much all this time has passed i'm just going to sneak back in and be really nice this person will just sweep it under the rug they don't realize that you're that's not you maybe that wasn't old you you're not doing that anymore you hurt me you moved the ways that you moved you wanted to be a liar a cheat a thief an abuser cool i hope it was fun i hope that you got out of it what you wanted because i don't want you in my life ever again I'm not putting up with it. I've given you chance after chance after chance. And honestly, I'm not even giving you the time of day to explain to you that you get no more chances. My silence is deadly. And don't approach me. Don't come near me. Your whole demeanor has changed. This person won't come up to you, but they will if you see them in like community or out. They'll like try to... Um, make you feel guilty with like their facial expressions or they'll try to get noticed by you um, so that they can approach you. Just ignore them. That's the truth. You are, have the clarity that you need. Th th whatever this is, they don't mean you good at all. They don't want to change, but they don't want you to go anywhere either. It's disgusting is what it is. And it's immature and it's childish on their behalf, not yours. Let's see what your advice is from Spirit. Spirit, what's the advice? Wow. So in this deck, we have a high priest and a high priestess. So the high priest, um, the high priestess is number two, normal, but the high priest is the hierophant. Your, you, your advice is to Remember what you've learned. Remember the spiritual lessons. Remember how traditional that you are. Remember your values, your morals, right? And don't allow somebody sneaky to come through, um, because this per the, the, the this person is sneaky. They're a liar. They're a cheat. They're a thief. They're greedy. They may be very financially stable, but they just want to control you. Don't let them um, try to come back into your life. Spirit is saying. The, the best, the advice is to um, stealthily be strategic and just kind of like avoid this person whenever you can. But if you do have to confront them, do it in front of people if you can, because this is a very tricky energy. Keep your wits about you. They're going to try to spiritually um, like abuse you or they're going to try to use like... Um, mental mind tricks, but it's not going to work. None of their tricks are going to work because you've evolved from that. You need to communicate that as well. You will, you know, they also want to come into your life to communicate that they, that they're upset. They feel these ways. It's how they feel is not, has nothing to do with you. Um, they did this to themselves. They made their bed and now they need to lie in it. Um, that's what I got for you, Gemini. Um, and it's saying also too, this person is like hiding like a child, an immature child. And they're like, like, it's really pathetic. This is a, if this is a man, this is a very weak, weak, weak 
man. If this is a woman, very insecure and immature and weak. It's just, they're both the same. It's just the opposite ends. Very promiscuous as well. Yikes. They want to be noticed by you, but you don't want to notice them or you won't. Um, what is the uh, most likely outcome for Gemini? Them having inner conflict and trying to make external conflict to you because they think that you two should be together. Um, the most, but the, and so that's one part of it. The other part of the most likely outcome is you understanding the conflict that they brought and you may love them, but you love them from a distance and sometimes love just ain't enough. You can love someone and still know they're not good for you. You want victory, but you don't want it with them. You're moving on. You won after the five of wands. You won the battle with yourself because there was a battle with them, but really you were battling yourself because whatever they did, they abandoned you. And you won that battle over yourself. And now they want to come back, but you're holding up boundaries. The most likely outcome is you understanding what type of person, human that this is and knowing that you need to have strong boundaries because you won you won over yourself. You won yourself back and you're not giving yourself away to someone or people that are just undeserving in the first place. Why would you give someone a second chance who wasn't even worth a first look? But you didn't know that at first, Gemini. We don't know that at first, right? But when we do know, because we're only innocent once, once we know to know, it's a conscious choice after that, no matter what we tell our mind. And you're going to be withholding, withholding, um, standing your ground and holding boundaries. That's what the most likely outcome is, is a victory. This person's going to fall off. Uh, don't be alone with them, I'm hearing. And um, you don't have to feel the need to be around them. If you're in a community or if you go out with friends and they happen to be there, it is perfectly acceptable for you to say to them, if they get too close, stay away. I do not trust you. I don't want you in my presence, period. Right. And if you're with other people, most more than likely they'll stick up for you. Now, there is a slight chance that this person may also pretend like you're the problem and they're avoiding you as they're walking up to you. It's really twisted, but everybody will see through it anyways. And Gemini, just be your most beautiful, awesome self. Just talk because this person's been talking shit for so long that now that you're out, they're scared because not only have their lies unfolded, but nobody trusts them. Nobody believes them. People understand what that, what the type of person that that was. I promise you, even if you don't think that people understand or think that, they do. You just haven't been around um, and you don't blab your business to people. So you wouldn't know um, that people understand that you dealt with a fucking snake. In any capacity, male, female, friends, family, social, platonic, romantic however right but the most likely outcome is you getting a victory you're it's also showing that for those of you that want it love is here love is in the air um you just have to want it right because it's there for the taking you have many suitors that want to court you um and this person is nothing but a fly they always were a fly you just didn't know we just don't know to know i mean i've been through it too before where i thought somebody was really the cat's meow but really they were the cat puke Yikes. See you later. Bye. Bye. Like you literally are the throw up of the waste that the cat doesn't want. So it's either coming out here or the other way. Yikes. Yeah. But Gemini, you don't worry about that because you're awesome. And you are the cat's meow. Playfulness. That's what you got here. Keep that head up. The transition that you made is um, the transition that you needed to make and everything is really going to be smooth sailing in that respect um based on what i saw here and that's what i have for you my beautiful gems of my eye i'll talk to you guys later bye gem sorry it was a long one but i felt like you really needed that bye